date, like we won about over 15 awards um, in, in social innovation, which came with either in-kind services, uh, grants, or loans. So um, some of the in-kind services, like the Center for Social Innovation, we won the Agents of Change program, so I got free membership for a year, and I got connected with that community. Um, we also got a microloan with them through the Catapult program, uh, probably one of the best awards that we won, which was very lucky, which was about four months in. I think having that Twitter sale <laughs> of that school saying we'll pay and wait uh, happened about a week before I was pitching for the Spin Master Innovation Fund, which is a $50,000 loan. And um, not only did you get the loan, but you also get mentorship from this company, which just so happened to be a toy company. We were, we're the only social purpose toy company that they've ever <laughs> um, supported. And I think uh, through them, they're connected with Futurepreneur. Um, all of those were just kind of amazing supports, both in terms of the community and guidance, um, but really in terms of loans, where they say, okay, we'll take this amount of risk on you, um, but you're still going to have to work like your butt off. So I would say in our first year, it was a combination of grants, loans, and in-kind awards, um, in pre-sales, sorry. Uh, then we launched a Kickstarter campaign once we knew that the product was working, uh, at least enough that we really believed in it. Um, and we raised enough funds to go into production. So we made 1,000 units uh, last year. Uh, we did ethical mass manufacturing, which I can talk about later. Um, but essentially, we raised over $52,000 in pre-sales. So again, paying and waiting. Um, and since then, we've gone into production now three times. Still no investors. Uh, the second production run was a combination of getting enough um, sales and then just going to two entrepreneurs that really believed in us and kept coming up and saying, we really believe in what you're doing. How can we help? And I was like, they're like, who can I introduce you to? I'm like, we need, we need money. <laughs> um, so I told them, you know, these are our sales. This is what we need to hit. Um, can you take a chance on me? And, you know, I'm, uh, I think our struggle right now is, and it's still a very real struggle for the way that we're growing, is whenever we go into production, um, we need to pay 50% up front. And then before they even release the product, we have to pay the additional 50%. So I actually fly and go overseas. Um, I was telling Joe, actually, so I go there. I sit on the production line. I, like, packed half the sets. Um, I'm there for a week or two meeting with multiple people. They're learning about our social purpose, like our social mission, which I think, other than that, and then just me physically being there, which they sometimes think is absurd. Um, it means that uh, we're keeping, like, we understand the quality and, and the issues involved in just mass production. Um, but also, they know that it's really important to us. Um, and most importantly, we can't send them the rest of the money in our bank account without knowing that those toy sets are in good quality, because um, that's just really high risk. So I think in terms of the support that we've had, and if any of you are on Twitter, you can do at 2 toys, you can just Google Empathy Toy. Uh, but we have a list of all the different awards that we've used. Um, so there's, like, I would say I hesitantly uh, was like, okay, I'll start my business in Toronto. And I think a big part of that push was how much they support social purpose businesses. So OCE, Futurepreneur, CSI, I'm using a lot of acronyms, so I know <laughs> officially moved to Toronto. Um, but there's, there's just a lot of organizations out there that have been so supportive uh, with us. And I think in terms of the lessons that I've learned, is it's really, really hard and it's really scary, um, but if you're doing something that has that social mission and that social purpose, it is shocking the amount of people who will just show up and ask you if you want help um, and can support you as you grow and as you take um, bigger risks, but also with hopefully a bit more um, proof of concepts as, as you take on those risks.